Hello, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm just going to give you a little overview of why the issues that concern me concern me. So first of all, with the trans issues, I never knew anybody that was trans until a couple of years ago. And one of my friends told me that he uh, was transitioning, you know, made a Facebook announcement to everybody. And I was like, okay, whatever, <laughs> that's cool. And then uh, uh, about a year later, someone else I know from my Facebook announced that they were also transitioning. And uh, I can't imagine if I was their family members because the one, the second person is uh, all in. I don't know, as a parent, I'm having a hard time dealing with it from people that are not my kids. And I really, really, really think that uh, the mental health of parents in this country is at risk. I think the mental health of everybody in this country is at risk. I think we're all being gaslit, and I think we have been being gaslit. Because <laughs> how could it have gotten to this point of believing that three-year-olds know if they're a boy or a girl? Enough, you know, to put them on hormones. I guess they start them on hormones at 10 or 11. If they're three, they just let them start wearing, you know, the other dresses. I can think of so many reasons why a, uh, a three-year-old might want to be the opposite sex. Maybe they're in daycare because so many kids are in daycare nowadays because both parents have to work. Maybe, you know, if they're a little boy, the boys are being mean to them and the girls are nicer. Maybe they like the girl toys better. That's, you know, that does not mean that they're a girl. And I don't think it should be encouraged, like I said in my last video. If, if somebody I love was addicted to drugs, I would be concerned for their welfare. But I wouldn't be celebrating it. And the way that the trans activists are celebrating trans, um, it makes me think that it's not safe. It's not safe for kids. It's not safe for women. You know, cancer societies want to change the name of the woman's vagina to make trans women feel included. Well, first of all, that's not an actual vagina. Do they even get normal vagina things that normal women get? You know, cervical cancer. I don't know what all there is, but, you know, they're, they're gaslighting people to not believe what they're seeing is real. That's what I truly believe has been going on for a while. And that's another thing with all the trans um, Pride Month rallies and with the things that people have seen. They're going to be angry. You're, they're instigating anger in a normal person with normal parental instincts. That's not right. Why is everybody trying to make it seem right? Why on earth do they want it to be normal? <sighs> it's the money. It's the money from the top down. And I've done so much reading and watched so many YouTube videos. And uh, I believe the COVID was part of it. I do. I think that they've been pushing all these antidepressants since the 1990s to get people in a state of mind. Uh, you know, they're just, oh, well, oh, well, you know, and plus, you know, uh, mothers have to work. You have to have a two parent household to, uh, get by and afford rent and even then it's it's pretty sketchy and which brings up another thing they're pushing all this trans activism gender affirming care for children they're tearing up families you know it started back in the 90s welfare to work pro programs so we put all the moms back to work so all the kids are in daycare so that can seem normal for that generation to grow up and then wait that was in the 80s 90s, 80s. Okay, that was in the late 80s, maybe really early 90s. And then the next thing you hear is, uh, and then like I said in my last video, you know, I googled the people in that that autism research place. You know, two of the people right at the near the top, trans, you know, activist, sexuality expert. I've been around a lot of autistic kids. I've seen a lot of things. I have special needs children. And it just horrifies me. It just horrifies me. It's one thing for me when I just thought, you know, the two people that I know, they're adults and okay, you know, 
I really didn't have an issue with it. I did not have an issue with this until about, I don't know, four months ago, three or four months ago. Like I say, I had other videos on here that I, I just took off. I'm going to redo them incognito because I do not feel it is safe. Uh, I feel like the kids are being trained to be very angry, angry at the world, angry at everybody, but most of all to their parents. If they don't, if the parents don't do what they want, they can leave in California. They can just go leave and live in a foster care. You know, um, it reminds me of an episode of the Twilight Zone when there's this little kid. He ran everything. And uh, that's what I feel like the world is, you know, in right now. And I'll look for that episode and see what it's called. I know that um, they don't have the full episode on YouTube. I don't know where they would have it, but you'll have the name of it. And that's, that's what I feel like I'm living in the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone Masquerade Ball. Here we are. I never in my wildest dreams thought that the thing that was going to change society was going to be transvestite drag queens. Who would have ever thought that? Never in my wildest dreams I thought, okay, some people when they're older, they like that. Who am I to judge? But now they're pushing it way too far. Their little chant where they were coming to get your children, we're coming to get your children. And they expect parents aren't going to, you know, feel something deep within their soul. Women aren't going to feel something deep within their uterus, something that only women have. And even if the trans women get a transplanted uterus, it will not be the same. And I, and I honestly, I, I'll be very surprised if they can transplant a uterus and ovaries and everything and turn a man completely into a woman. I know that's what they're trying. That's what they're trying to do. In science, sometimes just because you can doesn't mean you should. No, I don't think so. There's another news story about, I don't know, three months ago. I'll put a link to that too. This young couple had a little boy, 10 months old, and he fell into a uh, pool and I uh, drowned. Well, you know, they, he went to the hospital and the doctor said he's brain dead. There's no hope. Well, somehow um, the parents said no, they wanted to take him home. So he went home on a ventilator and everything, you know, to keep him alive because he was brain dead. That's dead. Brain dead is dead. So he's there for uh, three years. This happened at the beginning of the pandemic. And then I don't know what date it happened. I'll put it in there. Um, and then something happened and his nurse, uh, changed jobs and she wasn't coming around. Well, they didn't get another nurse. Well, they, they neglected to take care of him and I, and he actually died. See what I mean? If the hospital would have just stuck to their guns and said, he's, he's dead. You know, it's one thing to send a child home that is breathing on their own or, you know, um, has some brain activity. I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying. Where do you draw the line? Now, these two parents are probably going to go to prison for God knows how long. They had, you know, two more children in the meantime. So there's other little children that have, you know, no parents. And I don't know what the right answer is. Well, I do in that case. I mean, if somebody is brain dead, don't be keeping them alive on a ventilator just because you can. If they're truly never going to recover, that's how I feel. That's what I would want done for me. Ours is based on Mother Nature and the way things, you know, just flow. I, I really believe you start messing with that too much and uh, things are going to flip. Just like them messing around creating viruses in labs. Anyways, they're pretty convinced that that was made in a lab. So there you go. Just because you can does not mean that you should. Brings up another thing. The WHO. The WHO wants to have control of the whole world if another uh, virus comes out that they can lock down the whole world. It'll be their rule. It won't be the, our, our president's rule, our, our governor's rule. No, but no, it'll be their rule. They could lock everything down and they could say how long it lasts and all that stuff. Well, Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, he's on one of the leading, he's one of the leading board members for the WHO. I, I, and I can't believe not more people are talking about that. We live in some freaking weird Twilight Zone fantasy world. And I don't hate anybody that's trans. Now, if you're trans and your kid, then I, I have a, I don't even hate the parents. I believe you have been gaslit. You have been put on brain drugs and gaslit to where you're not following your gut instinct that comes from being a parent. Uh, 
so that's all I have to say today. Uh, uh, you know, I hope everybody's having a, a relatively good week and, you know, in spite of all this stuff going on, which is really, truly heartbreaking. I would like to be focusing on, you know, in my life on other things that are, are good and pure and natural and fun and enjoyable. And this trans movement, um, has just got me, uh, feeling like, and that's another thing, Lisa Edwards. You need to Google Lisa Edwards and see what happened to her. I believe all of this is part of the same thing. And I'm I'm trying to work it out for myself. And I'm going to be making videos as I'm trying to work it out. So if you want to join me along the journey, which might make sense or might not make sense. In any case, uh, uh, you know, it's just so baffling to me that how society is here. And, and I see the videos, how long it's been coming on for, and I didn't know. And I think that that's happening to a lot of other people. So people need to not feel bad when they finally wake up and go, wait, what? You know, uh, you just you just need to uh, speak out and say, leave the children alone. Leave the children alone. Do your own stuff in your own places, like gambling. You can't just gamble anywhere. Well, that's how it should be for drag queens. You can't just drag queen yourself all over the place. Oh, and that uh, owner of the Miss Universe. Man, I watched a little speech of hers. I'll link that too. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, you got to watch it. Maybe I'll put it on here. I don't know, but that speaks for itself. So I'll let you go and I'll just uh, see you next video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like if you've made it this far and consider subscribing. All right. That's it. See you next time. Bye.